Hello and welcome to the Repair Specialist and in this video I'm going to show the absolute novice how to tune a chainsaw. I'm going to show it in very simple terms but it is quite difficult to get my point across so I've had to do it as best as I can. The type of chainsaw I'll be using to show you is a cheap non-genuine model. I don't think it's even got a name but the principles are fairly the same for all models. So looking at the side of this chainsaw we've got the H there and the L there. So this little adjustment hole here is for the H, so the high, and it goes all the way through and to the carburettor. And it's the same with the L there. We've got one there underneath for that. First of all, I put this screwdriver into the H hole. And of course the engine's not running and I screw this in clockwise until it stops. And I do that gently and I don't force it at all. And then once I've done that, I then transfer the screwdriver into the other adjustment hole for the L and then I screw that in till it stops. As I've said, I don't force it at all once it's stopped. So what we're looking for at this stage then is for both screws to be screwed fully in, both the L and the H. We'll adjust this in a moment. This is the idling. But just for clarity, I've got a carburetor here off one of these chainsaws and you can see there we've got the L and the H. That's what this screwdriver was doing when I poked it through that adjustment hole. It was actually doing this. So basically what we did is we screwed each adjustment screw in clockwise like this until they stopped without forcing. And so now I know that each of these adjustment screws are screwed right in as far as they will go. So now I start with the H again. So I'll put my screwdriver into the carburetor and then I will unscrew this now anti-clockwise one full turn. So right out to one full turn. So basically I'm doing this out one full turn of the H. And it's the same idea here for the L. Right in through to the carburettor there with the screwdriver and screw out one full turn. Exactly the same there, just like so. So now we know that both adjustment screws are set identically and as I've said we'll set the idling shortly. Okay, so this isn't a video on how to start a chainsaw. You must start the chainsaw in the usual safe manner according to the manual. But once you've got the chainsaw started now in the correct manner, we'll go from here. Holding the chainsaw at full throttle, the screwdriver is in the H hole. And when I unscrew it quarter of a turn, we can see the engine revs go down. And then when I screw it back in, past the point where it started, and then close it a little more, we can see it's over revving. So we need to come back slightly from that over revving, just so it's a nice sort of midway point between the two, something like that. I just need to screw in the idling screw enough for the chainsaw to idle at this point, in order for me then to be able to adjust the L screw or the low screw, the low rev screw. So now the screwdriver is adjusting the L adjustment screw and when I turn it inwards we can see there that the engine revs raise. So the idling revs raise slightly. So we need to do the same as last time, pull back slightly just from that over revving and if we take a look there we can see we go too low then we come back again to a nice midpoint. And at this stage it's important to try pulling the throttle and if it does that, if it starts to bog down slightly, we can open that a little more, we can turn it anti-clockwise so that a little more fuel goes in and then next time it should rev up okay. And so now the idling screw here is used to fine tune this idling adjustment now. I'm screwing it out slightly to lower the rev slightly there because I'd like them a little lower but you'd have to try yourself and see. As you can see now we've got the engine working absolutely brilliantly. It's revving up, it's not bogging down and it's tuned nicely. And we can see how nice this engine will now run. When we try and start it again it starts absolutely perfectly. Runs wonderfully now. Thank you for watching.